In part two of this section, I would like to introduce you a very, very useful technique for adding integers together. And this technique is called adding integers vertically. All right. So for integers, they're actually, you can have as many digits as you want. However, for this section, we're just going to be sticking with one digit and two digit numbers. For this technique, when you're adding one digit numbers, you won't see that it will be so much faster because one digit numbers are just so easy. However, for two digits or more using this technique, you will be able to tell that it's so much faster and easier instead of using a number line because if you're adding 100 plus 150, are you actually going to have a number line that long? No, right? So this method will be a lot more useful. Okay, so we have to take a look at the one digit and two digit numbers. So let's give an example. One digit number, let's say we have a four. And two digit numbers, let's say we have 25, okay? Let me give you some terminologies. So for a number, we always want, we want to um, take a look at it from the right to the left, okay? So here, since there's only one digit, okay? This digit, it's called the ones digit, okay? The ones digit. If you have two digits, as I said, we will want to read it from the right to the left. So this digit on the rightmost, this will be our ones digit. And the digit next to it, to the left, this one will be the tens digit. Okay, and you, as you might have known already, if you have one more digit over here, let's say we have a one, 125, okay? That digit, ones, tens, what's after tens? It's a hundred, right? So this, if you have a one over here, that will be the hundreds digit. And it actually makes sense because how do you read this number? It's 25, right? The two stands for two of the tens, which gives us 20, right? And the five is five of the ones, so it's a five, right? So 25, it makes sense, right? And here, Four is just four ones, right? So four times one, so it gives us four. So that's a ones digit, okay? So these are the terminologies. Why do we need to know these terminologies? Because when we are adding the integers vertically, this is the layout of the, um, uh, the, the what you should be doing, by the way. So when you're adding them, you will have to line up the digits together, the ones digits together, the tens digits together, so on and so forth. So let me give you an example. If I want to solve 25 plus 4, okay, 25 plus 4, which ones are the ones digit? The ones digit are the 5 and the 4, right? So when we write it vertically, we have to make sure that the 5 and the 4 are on the same column. And what I mean by that is, let's write it down over here. 25, you have to write it this way. The 5 is on the rightmost. And the four, okay, you might think, well, should I put the four right here? Yes or no? It's a no, right? Because here, the four is the ones digit, but the two, as we said, is the tens digit. They are not lined up correctly, right? So the four shouldn't belong to here. It should belong to here, okay? So now the five is the ones digit, the four is the ones digit together as well. Okay, so this column over here corresponds to all the ones digit, and this column here corresponds to all the tens digit. All right, so this is the correct layout when you write 25 plus four vertically. Okay, so once you have this laid out, what you should be doing is simply follow what you're told to do so. So here we have a five and a four, and what's the, um, what is the relationship between them? Well, as we see over here, it's add. So we, sh we are told to add the five with the four. So five plus four is what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four, it's nine, right? So five plus four, the answer is nine. Right here, we have two plus nothing. Nothing, well, we can think of it as a zero, right? So if you want, you can put a zero here. If not, still fine. But you know that it, nothing means zero, right? So two plus zero still gives us two, right? So that tells us 25 plus four gives us 29, right? So this method, as you see, it's a lot faster and easier. Imagine this, if you want to do 25 plus four on a number line, then you will have to have a really long number line, right? And that's just not good. So this is a really useful way. Okay, now, 
our topic is called adding integers vertically, right? So whenever we're adding two integers together, adding two integers, one over here, one over here, okay? There are actually four cases that we need to consider as we see over here, okay? And what are the four cases? Well, you see, the integers can be um, both positive, okay? They can be both negative. They can be one negative, one positive, okay? Or they can be one positive here and one negative here, okay? So there are these four cases we need to consider. And they might um, be different, okay? So each case might be different from each other, okay? So uh, I'm going to show you each case in a bit. But first, let me show you some facts, okay? So here. Now, if for some reason you want to simplify the um, question, so like, let me give you an example. Let's use, um, let's use this one, okay? We have, let's say, positive 2 plus positive 5, let's say, okay? Now, if I want to simplify this, okay, we can simplify that by removing the brackets, okay? So when you remove the brackets, you see over here, we have two, no, two signs. So if you remove the brackets, you have positive 2 plus positive 5. Well, this doesn't make sense in math, right? You cannot have two signs together, okay? So we have to simplify it, and as you see over here, two like signs produce a positive sign. Like signs mean signs that are of the same. So it's either two positives or two negatives. In this case, we have two positive, two like signs, right? So we can simplify that into a positive. So that means over here, instead of writing two positives, we can just write one positive positive 2 plus 5, okay? Next, two unlike signs produce a negative sign. So again, let me use the same example, except that I'm changing plus 2, uh, sorry, uh, positive 5 to a negative 5, okay? So if you, for some reason, you want to remove the brackets, you will get positive 2 plus negative 5, right? Here we have a plus, we have a minus. They are unlike signs. Unlike, that means they are opposite, opposite signs, okay? So here, they are opposite, right? A plus and a minus. So together, they will produce a negative sign. So here, we can simplify that to positive 2 minus 5, okay? So this is good to know. For, if for some reason you want to simplify it by expanding the brackets, then you will want to use this, okay? Next, the order of the integers is interchangeable. Okay, what do I mean by that? Now, let's use this as an, as an example. We have positive 2 plus positive 5. So, what this tells us is that positive 2 plus positive 5 can be written as having these two integers uh, reversed. So, it's actually the same as positive 5 plus positive 2. Okay, so these two are in fact the same. All right. Let me prove it to you using a number line, okay? So here we have a number line. Let's do the original first. We have positive 2, so from 0, from 0, we add 2, so we add 2, we get to here, okay? Next, you add a positive 5. So from here, from the 2, you add 5, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So you get to here, so plus 2, Okay, positive 2 plus positive 5 will give you positive 7, correct? So, this one here gives us positive 7. Next, let's take a look at this, this one. This time I have positive 5 first, okay? So from 0, instead of going to 2, we go all the way to 5 first. Alright, so let me erase this. Let me draw this up here. So from 0, we go all the way to 5 because we have positive 5, okay? So after at positive 5, we add a positive 2 to it, okay? So from 5, we add 2. So 1, 2. We add 2, we get to positive 7 again. So here, that equals positive 7. So you see? Whenever we're adding integers, adding the two integers together, the order can be reversed. Okay, so here, 2, and two plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 2. They both give us positive 7. Okay, so this is something that's good to know, and we will be using this 
in, in a short bit, okay?